Hello, welcome, how are you? My name is Leanna and this is my booktube. I do have like another channel, sorry, where I'll probably be posting singing, maybe fashion, that kind of stuff, so I'll probably link that below. It has like one or two singing videos already, but I'm hoping to start doing that channel more as well as booktube because I love books and yeah. So for my background, since I'm just getting more books and like getting back into reading, I don't own that many. so can't really sit or stand in front of my like tiny little bookshelf but anyway this is my little Funko Pop the mask that I made in grade 10 a picture of me and my two best friends since like kindergarten and the top of my lovely lovely guitar today I'm going to be doing a like collective book haul so for this I'll be doing it from like the oldest books that I bought to the newest not necessarily like the day they were published but when I bought them so yeah, let's go. The first book I have here is The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. I bought this a, a long time ago when I was kind of not reading as much and um, yeah, so I never got to it. I think this is basically just about a boy in high school who gets into an accident and he has to deal with everything that, you know, comes with getting in an accident and then I think he like meets a girl so it's kind of like romance, contemporary type thing. But yeah, I'm excited to read this. Had it for a while. Gotta read it. The next book I have is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I saw this at my library, like the section where they sell books, and it was like two or three dollars, so I was like, wow, okay, cool, cheap, I want to buy it. I was like, you know, haven't seen a movie. Seems like something I'd want to read, so I got it. I think it's basically just about two boys that love making movies and stuff like that and they meet a girl who has leukemia and they want to like base a movie on her or make a movie for her something along those lines so yeah I still read that and I got it a while ago and I want to read it the third book I have here is called The Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Amber Shares I don't know if I'm saying that right but I tried so that's what counts I read the first one like a year or two ago from the library and I saw this one at like a Animal Aid Foundation charity book sale. And so yeah, this was pretty cheap and I liked the first one enough to want to at least read it quickly one day. I don't know, still haven't read that, so yeah. The second book I got from that charity book sale thing was The Help by Katherine Stockett. I saw the movie when it like first came out because I saw it in theaters and I really liked that movie and so when I saw it, I was like, I want to read it, and then maybe I'll even rewatch it when I'm done reading it. So I still gotta get to that. The next book I have is Because of Low by Abby Glines. I read the first one, Breathe, in probably grade 8 or 9, and I like that one. I really like romance. I'm getting more into other like sci-fi, fantasy, that kind of stuff, but I definitely am a romance person. I like shipping couples, even sometimes... I'm kind of bad. I like the drama and stuff, even though a lot of people hate that. But yeah, this is Abby Glines' Sea Breeze series, and I think she has the other one that's called, like, Rosemary Beach, and I want to get to that one, like, whether or not I continue on with this one, but I did like this book. I read this in one day because I was really sick, and I was sitting on the couch, like, the entire day, probably for three days, but either way, I read this one in one day. And, yeah, it was fun. I think I gave it four out of five stars, so yeah. So the next one I have is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I love this one. I know everyone says A Court of Mist and Fury is better, so I really have to get to that, but I'm trying to stop myself from buying books for a little bit because I have way too many that I haven't read yet. I know some people have like 40 books they haven't read, but I think like 10 or 12 is enough for me to stop buying books for a while. Yeah, so I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Really excited to read the next one. Yeah, I got this in like mid-January, so. So the first book of all the book outlet books is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash. It's a fantasy book that um, I heard like Haley and Bookland talk about, so and it sounded like I would like it, so I saw it for cheap and decided to grab it. The back like little tiny blurb before the synopsis just says, a lightning fast tale of loyalty, love, and finding one's destiny. So yeah, I'm excited to get to that one. 
The second book I have in this order is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Um, I saw this a long time ago and I wanted to read it because I know it's just like a nice like contemporary one that a lot of people like. My stepsister had it and she said I could borrow it but I just got it myself because I never ended up borrowing it from her. And yeah, so that's another one I still have to read. <laughs> the third book in this book outlet order is Truth Witch by Susan Denard and I am excited for this one. I've kind of heard mixed reviews because some people said like it wasn't really for them or whatever but from what I've heard I want to read it and I think it'll be cool. I know that it's about like two best friends that are witches and they're just going on an adventure because people want to use them for their powers and yeah I'm excited to read about best friends because I don't read about like friendship as much as romance and stuff like that. So yeah, the last book in this specific order is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I saw this for also a good price because like when you see hardcovers and they're so cheap, it's just like you gotta get it, you know? But yeah, I'm excited to read this one. I heard it's about twins and it's like a boy-girl twin thing and I think the boy is gay as well so like that's something I'm really excited to read about and yeah. I love contemporaries. I've heard like a lot of good things about this one, like not really very many mixed reviews, mostly just good stuff. So the next book order I have from Book Outlet is um, only two books. I got Half Bad by Sally Green. I saw this for like a really good price, like even cheaper than um, they normally are for like hardcovers and stuff. And there was only like 11 left or something, so I was like, oh, I should get it. And like, I was like, to my boyfriend like please like there's only 11 left and yeah so anyway I ended up getting this one I'm excited it looks really cool it took me a long time to realize that was in the shape of a face so now it's even more cool to me yeah so I don't completely know what this is about it's something about like a 16 year old boy being kind of like hunted down and he's like now in a cage and he's being treated really badly and I think he's obviously probably trying to get out in the book. I don't expect that he likes to be there. But yeah, I'm excited to read that one. So the second and last book in this book outlet order is Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear. I like the shape of it because it's like the same height as Half Bad but it's really skinny and it feels like really like light. I don't know how to describe it but it looks like a short read and it seemed interesting when I read the synopsis. Okay, so I think it's about a girl who has like really strange dreams and a lot of them are just, you know, really strange. But one particular one, she dreams about four boys. And I think she ends up meeting them in real life. So she's kind of confused, like, are my dreams telling me something? Is it just coincidence? Like, what's happening? And so, yeah, that was also a good price. So I decided to pick both of those books up. Lastly, we have Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I got this from a thrift store. Um, I've definitely heard people not like this and I've seen them like unhaul it but personally it sounds like something I might like as long as nothing's too problematic or maybe it's just bad I don't know like the writing or something but it's about like fallen angels and I think there's a lot of romance and so it seems like something I would like so yeah okay so I know I said lastly for the last one but actually I decided to just show one that I'm reading from the library right now it's not really a haul book but that's Heartless by Marissa Meyer it was in the section of the library where like they put all their new books that they just got and yeah I was just surprised to see this because I assumed at least if they had it someone would have taken it out but I guess no one in my area <laughs> knows that this is a popular book right now um, I'm about halfway through I think Goodreads literally said 49% so pretty much halfway through I like it, it's just I feel like other people like it a lot more so maybe it hyped it up too much for me. But yeah, it's just a retelling, or not retelling, it's like an origin story of how the Queen of Hearts became evil and I want to see how that ends up because like we all know she becomes evil, but how, right? 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 I'm so weird. Okay. I hope I'll be doing a wrap up soon just because I want to talk more specifically about the books I read. In January which I think I read four books either way it doesn't matter do a wrap up thanks for watching hope you enjoyed my weird collective book haul slash all the books I really need to read for the past like five months or more so thank you
Peace out. See you later. Bye! I guess I'll get started. No, I won't. I haven't said what this video is. Okay. <laughs> this is so hard. Fuck, I have to stop looking. The third book that is in the- fuck. I've heard it's about two twins. Obviously two. Okay. <laughs> Hush Hush by Beth- What am I saying? What the shit? What am I saying? But yeah, that's- that's that. That is that. Okay. True. Relatable, girl. I'm talking to myself. Not even a camera at this point. Um. See ya later. Mm.